So closing day one, thank you for joining us. Let's reflect on the day of programming. The keynote, the first keynote, Dr. Randall Clark, the president from the American Society of Anesthesiologists, the role of innovation in patient safety was the topic. And he talked about overcoming obstacles of applying high reliability principles in healthcare. And he reflected on his own uh, pastime of being a pilot. In fact, I think he was in the military as a pilot as well. And so he looks at what the air industry have done to make flying so safe as it is today and uh, reflected on all the items that we have in the air that lets people reflect on mistakes or errors that occur because they're reported early and uh, everybody knows about them. There's transparency in the air industry, things that we can learn from in the healthcare industry so that uh, people will speak up when they make a mistake and we can look and see how did that happen? How did that human error occur? So we all can learn and uh, we can eliminate it um, from causing harm again in the future. So the aircraft industry, airline industry um, have got way ahead of us and we've got to catch up and uh, get healthcare into the same uh, ballpark. We had commitment announcements. Thank you very much uh, from all of the hospitals that uh, made commitments. We had a networking break that's very important to us because you can meet with some of our sponsors and hopefully some of our speakers too. And um, we had a, a second session, embracing the science of human factors to unleash safety innovation in healthcare. And um, we had a keynote, innovation doesn't have to be glamorous or expensive from the European Society of Anesthesia and Intensive Care President, Eduardo de Roberts. We had the Helen Haskell uh, presenting the Lewis Blackman Award. Lewis was her son who died, unfortunately, from a preventable medical error. And Helen has been a long-term advocate of uh, patient safety, trying to improve the safety in the hospitals around the globe. And uh, she's put hours and hours of hard work into this. We had another networking break, another important break. And then we had the uh, uh, keynote from Dr. Dinger Neelam, talking about strategic global opportunities and what the World Health Organization initiatives are in patient safety across the globe, which goes from everything from the well-off countries to the medium income companies, countries to the uh, very poor countries where um, you know, healthcare is a real challenge for them because of the lack of resources. And I think, uh, that's where the World Health Organization have really been focusing on, um, looking at how they can help them this last two years with COVID and getting COVID vaccinations out to them. So thank you, the World Health Organization. We had uh, another session, session three, on patient advocacy, the compass for innovation. We also had the announcement of the recipient of the Joe Kiani Humanitarian Award. Joe, who's the founder of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, uh, and a great humanitarian. And uh, he presented it to President Bill Clinton, who's been supporting the foundation almost since its outset. So thank you, President Clinton, well-deserved. And then we had the keynote from our founder, Joe Kiani, bringing momentum to patient safety. And that was a passionate talk about his views on what will make our healthcare system safe, what key measures we have to put in place so that uh, hospitals, clinicians will follow evidence-based best standards of care that will prevent errors taking place. And uh, so thank you, Joe, so much for that uh, uh, great talk. So we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow to learn more, to interact more, and uh, join us at eight o'clock uh, Pacific time. Um, and whatever time it is in the globe, please uh, set your alarm so that if it's the middle of the night, you can join us because this is really a very special summit. Uh, we all learn a lot. The presenters learn, the listeners learn. We need to put it all together and come up with the solutions so that we can reach our goal of zero preventable deaths, zero preventable harms by 2030. Please help us. Thank you.